Good morning. It's still dark outside, as you see, and I love it. Today I'm going to start the morning off with some swimming, but the pool doesn't open until 9 o'clock, so I thought why not talk about the importance of slow mornings. In my opinion, I think it's so beneficial to wake up before you need to, and preferably really early in the morning. These few couple of hours before most people wake up are so peaceful if you do it right. How do you do it right you ask? Put your phone on flight mode before you go to sleep and leave it on for the entire morning. I promise you it will change your life. The beauty of waking up this early, three hours before the thing I'm gonna do, is that I can have a slow morning. I can waste some time. I can just sit here, no music, no phone, no social media, no dopamine. I'm just kind of set the tone for the day, set the dopamine levels, prove that you can be in your own company without any outdoor distractions. Some of you now might say, bro, but I work better at night. I'm so productive at 1 a.m. I'm gonna do some stretching and I'm gonna tell you this is because you in fact just lack discipline. So yeah, let me explain. If you are most productive at night, you simply lack discipline throughout the day. Sorry. The only time when you can really focus and do some deep work is when everyone else is asleep and not bothering you. Throughout the day, you might try to do some work, but you get distracted by friends, family, notifications on your phone and you're not disciplined enough to say no to them and turn off your notifications. But good news, there is another time of day where there's no distractions, early in the morning, a couple hours before everyone wakes up. Right, I still have a couple hours before I'm going swimming, so I think I'm gonna read for a bit, study in my book. If you watched my last video, you know, but currently I'm reading Deep Work by Cal Newport and I'm almost done but I think for now instead of finishing it I'm gonna skim through the parts I've already read and then write down my uh, my favorite lessons from it because I really need to learn and put this stuff into practice
Alright, it's now 8.45, I'm gonna go swim. W workout. I just completed my longest swim, 1525 meters. And now, I'm in a good mood. It's so simple, just wake up early, hit a workout. Easy as that. It's 10.30 a.m., so still morning, and we're gonna continue taking the day very slow. I bought some potatoes on the way home, and yeah, we're gonna air fry these and load up with some carbs, protein, just everything I need. Big breakfast. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. You saw that potato stacking technique? I call that maximum airflow. I have no idea if it works, but we'll see. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness gracious, how can you not want to eat this every day? Alright boys, it's a couple hours later now. I just finished my Instagram reel and TikTok for the day. I wore this new cardigan in the video that Shinzo gifted me. Look at this. It's so sick. Shout out, I think it's Shinzo Tribe on Instagram. But yeah, now I'm gonna take some time to try to get the perfect IG story picture. But for what you might ask? Well, as you know, I'm affiliated with Jenko, Jenko Jeans. And it's currently the only way that I'm making money off of social media, off of any platform. So yeah, in my contract I had to do a couple posts and a couple stories a month. This weekend I'm gonna do a story. And I just thought it would be interesting for you to get a little insight on what I have to do for like a big brand like this. So what I'm thinking is that I'm either gonna do like a full outfit Instagram story or I'm gonna do a mirror selfie. I feel like the first one might be best. We'll try both though. First step, get the fit ready. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this black t-shirt that says Jenko and match it with these twin cannon jeans. I'm also gonna add a Hat. Now it's just a matter of do I want to do a mirror selfie or do something like this. Alright, this was actually pretty cool. I can add like the text of each clothing item on the side here. Okay, I went through the footage. The jury has spoken. I went for this one. You see how some of the text is sideways? I thought it was kind of clever because it makes people stop, maybe look twice. And boom, all of a sudden they want some new jeans. <laughs> but yeah, that was that. Use code AUGUST15 if you want to support me and want some new jenkos. Now for the rest of the day I'm gonna just chill, take it easy, eat some more food. No double workout today unfortunately because my body is just... it's torn down. <laughs> I've probably had a couple workouts too many this, this week. My lower back is really feeling it so I'm gonna take today off or tonight off and be back tomorrow with a chest workout and some form of cardio, maybe running if the weather clears up or swimming or maybe I'll even 
go on the bike in the gym. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, just enjoyed vibing with me for about 10 minutes. And yeah, look forward to the next video because I have something super exciting coming in the mail that I want to show you. So yeah, have a good day and...